welcome to another installment of our flipped videos. Tonight we're going to be looking at converting units within a measurement system. All right, which you're thinking, hmm, we'll learn more about it. Our VIC for tonight, our very important concept is why would we want to convert measurements? What, what's the big deal? Two very big things. There's others, but the two main things are we want to make things easier to understand, and we also want to be able to accurately estimate, plan, and buy things. And you might be thinking, okay, what do you mean? Well, let's say that someone asked how old you were, and what you replied was, I'm 121 months old. We don't usually express our age in months like that, instead of saying, I'm 10 years old. Or if you're at the doctor's office and you're getting weighed during a checkup, uh, the nurse says you weigh 1,280 ounces, instead of saying that you weigh 80 pounds. That's the part of making things easier to understand. To accurately estimate, plan, and buy things, I have a friend who once wanted to put a new carpet in all of the bedrooms in her house. And she measured everything in square feet, which is, you know, your house is measured in square feet. And she had it all figured out as to how much it was going to cost and all. Went to the carpet store and found out, unfortunately, that carpet is measured in square yards. So she had to convert her square footage measurements to square yards to accurately estimate and plan out how much carpet she was going to have to buy. Now, some conversions are really easy to do because the numbers are small. They're easy. For example, let's say two feet equals how many inches? Well, we know one foot is 12 inches, so you would add 12 plus 12, and that would give you 24 inches. That's easy. But if you've got larger numbers, you need a system to accurately convert from one unit of measurement to another. You need to have a better plan than something as simple as that, because not everything can be done in your head. Now, here's a graphic with a phrase that maybe this will stick with you once you see it. It's a hill, and you see the words over here, small to large divides the hill, and on the other side, large to small is greater still. Because this side uses the word divide, it's divide. Because this side says greater still, we know that you would multiply, because when you multiply, you make a number bigger or greater. There's only divide or multiply, there's no add or subtract. Now, you might be thinking, multiply or divide, what? What does that mean? Well, here's two things to remember. When you're changing from a unit that is somewhat small to something that is larger, you would divide. When you're changing from a unit that is large to start with and you want to make it into a smaller unit, you would multiply. Here's an example. Four yards is how many inches? Well, yards, and here's a yardstick, basically. Sorry, there's a yardstick. Yards are larger than inches. Here's an inch. All right, so yards are obviously larger. So we would be converting from large to small, and when you're doing large to small, you would multiply. Think. How many inches are in a yard? Well, there's 36. So we would say 4 times 36. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. So 4 yards, bring it up here, is 144 inches. Another example, all right? 400 and inches equals blank feet. Well, let's think. Inches are smaller than feet. Here is an inch and here is a foot. 
So we are going to go from small to large and we would divide because inches are smaller than feet. All right, let's keep going with this one. Let's see, 408 inches is how many feet? There are 12 inches in a foot, we know that. And so we would say, well, 40 can be divided by 12 three times. Three times 12 is 36. Subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4. All right, bring down our 8. Uh, 48 can be divided by 12 four times. 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract 0. So... 408 inches is 34 feet. Here's another example. 70 ounces is how many pounds? All right, let's think. Ounces are smaller than pounds. It takes 16 ounces to equal a pound after all. All right, so ounces are smaller than pounds and we'll divide. All right. 16 can be divided into 70 four times. Let's see, four times six is 24. Four times one is four plus two is six. All right, subtract. Now, we've got a remainder, and you may think, well, I didn't know we could have remainders. You can. What this means is this would be four pounds and six ounces. And we would actually place this into our answer because it's not an exact equal, or excuse me, even divided. There's a little bit left and you would place that into your answer. So 70 ounces is four pounds, six ounces. All right. If you can remember this visual and the phrase with the hill and, uh, you know, small to large divides the hill, large to small is greater still, remember the phrase. That will help you a lot when you're converting. Also, you need to put in the time to learn the measurements, like three feet equals one yard, four quarts is a gallon, 16 ounces is a pound, uh, 10 millimeters is a centimeter, uh, 100 centimeters is a meter, etc. All right. You may say, well, that's going to take some time. Yes, but we have until EOGs to do it, and, of course, we want to start learning that now. All right? But we've got time. Practice problems for tonight. Please show your work. There are three practice problems. All right? Be sure to note on your sheet if you need help or if there's something you kind of don't get. We'll talk about it tomorrow in class. All right? Thanks.